what are the common pig breeds for commercial pig farming ladies and gentlemen a lot of people have been asking for the common pig breeds you can have on your farm if you want to go into commercial pig farming of course this is applicable to whoever wants to start a pig farming at home as, as well so and also if you are the type that likes pig meat bacon or uh, pork meat or what, whatever you call it this video is also for you on my farm i have the best breeds of pigs if you want to go into pig farming I have them on my farm so i'm going to be sharing with you how, how they look like and what to watch out for if you want to buy you can as well reach out to me in case you want me to stock your farm for you or you want to have a bit more in-depth knowledge about uh, pig farming i don't know it all <laughs> i am also a learner but i believe if i share the little ones i know People will comment and they will even open up my eyes to something I think I know, of course, which I don't even know. So that is the reason why I'll be sharing with you so that you can learn from me and it's going to be more or less like a, a prior knowledge for you if you also uh, further your studies on them. But, to cut the long story short, I'm going to be sharing with you the breeds of pigs I have on my farm, which are suitable for uh, meat production. They are fast growing, and once your animals are fast growing, <laughs> your productivity, your profit margin is also going to increase. So, let's see them. These are Landry's pigs. Can you see them? I want you to be able to identify them. So that is why I'm having a very close shoot of them. Can you see the ear? The ear is droppy, pointing forward and almost covering the eyes. And look at their body physique. Can you see it? We can always have look alike, but the best you can go for is the pure Landry's. So this is Landry's. This is large white. Can you see the large white? Look at the ear. The ear is standing erect and not too big. Can you see? Look at the, at the face. It's dish shaped. Can you see how big the, the head is? And look at the snout. The snout is not too long. In case you go somewhere and they are selling, they are no good breed for you. Look at the one I'm capturing. That's the one I'm referring to. So this is pure large white. Can you see it? These are another animals. I cannot call them breed because they are more or less like a branded animal. These ones we call them TN, made by Top Pigs Nosvin uh, Company. I think they are in South Africa. I don't. I'm not so sure. Look at the ear. Can you see the ear is not as erect as that of uh, a pure large white. So if you want to know more about uh, TN, you can always. Go to their website and read more about them. Breed here is what we call Duroc, and there are some features you need to look out for if you want to be buying pure Duroc. Look at the coloration, look at the, the oof. Can you see it? I want you to look at the ear. Look at the snout. If you have something that is different from this, then you are not having the rock, you are having something else. 
is more or less like a crossbreed, but this one is a pure Duroc. Look at that boy over there. Can you see the droppy here? The here looks almost like that of a uh, land race, but they are different. If you move closer to it, you will see that it's different. So that's Duroc. And here is a typical Kamboro bridge. Actually, Kamboro is not a bridge, it's also a brand name. Just like uh, we have TN. Can you see them? Look at it here again. You can read up on how to identify it better. But these are some of the fast grain pigs. At the same time, their mates are very okay and very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to believe you have seen the breed I have on my farm, and as you know, this is not an homestead; it's rather a commercial pig farming business. Yeah, so you can see what I have on my farm. If it's not working for me, I will not be sharing with you. So, they are very good for pig meat production. They are very good. If you are looking for good results, the breeds I have on my farm, their feed conversion ratio, FCR, is very, very okay. Is very, very okay. Which means by the time they convert little quantity of feed, they convert it for you into body weight. So if you have this type of pigs on your farm, I can tell you within the next six months to a year with good feeding, good management, you should be happy that you are setting up a pig farm. So ladies and gentlemen, I just believe this video have shed more light on the, the best breeds of pigs for commercial purpose, for homestead, for meat production, and also like a part of pig identification, pig breeds identification. So subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed to me, please stay safe.